Well then, here we are, second map of this best of three between OG and Navi, and as the bad way of show, uh, strongly favoring uh, OG at the moment. It does make sense, because they have been playing a uh, really awesome Counter-Strike. They just bashed Navi on Dust2. They yeah. bashed him yesterday 2-0 as well. So this is the rematch, and right now it is currently 3-0 in favor of OG. Let's yeah. put it that way. That's and a good point. Could very well be 4-0 uh, by the end of this because uh, OG, uh, they look pretty good on Mirage, although they played out 30 rounds, if I'm not mistaken, against Navi yesterday. Yes, I believe you're right. So uh, it's a bit closer, Mirage, a little bit more scrimmy, but that was the first map of the series. Now, I mean, Navi just got smacked, and uh, this is OG's pick. Yeah, they, they really got beat up, and again, there was just a... Was the, it's really hard to overstate the... The difference between how these two teams play CT sides. You saw it on Dust2 now, but it's very similar to what we saw on uh, on this map last time they played it. Navi are way more passive. They're way more content to sit around and wait and, you know, see, see if they can win the duels when they show up. And OG obviously have a much deeper plan in mind for their CT sides. Um, and I mean, I, I just think, I think that is one of the main differences, right? About, probably not the only one. Um, I think OG had a lot of uh, very, very cool strategies that they, had, they did on this map where they would, you know, they would push a bomb site and then they would either slow it down in the middle of the attack, so, you know, they'd get onto the A bomb site, but instead of just, you know, rushing in to get the bomb down, they'd stop, they'd wait, they'd let the enemy team make a mistake, or sometimes they would just fall all the way back. I mean, if because they would, I think this was the discussion we're having, they tend to execute so early in the round that they have plenty of time to run around. Mm -hmm. You know, they can, they can change the, you know, if you get in and it's still a minute and 10 seconds, then you can stop and say, all right, well, we're going to fall back and do something else now. Um, so I think that kind of thing makes OG right now uh, a superior team on, on that front. Um, I think we're waiting for Simple to get back into the server, but, I, you know, speaking of Simple, for all of those things that we just mentioned and, and the differences, right, we saw earlier what happens if Simple and Electronic are both having, a, you know, a, a good game and, you know, Perfecto and Flame are up there as well. Um, it's very hard to stop. It's just that if it's only Simple or only Electronic, I think OG just walk away with this. So... Um, yeah, that I, it's a mystery to me why Navi don't have, you know, uh, more depth than than they do at the moment. It really is. It's so much fun to watch when they play well. There's no doubt about that. But I, but it still feels like there should be more, you know, more in there than just, you know. Well, do you need a fresh take? I mean, you know, let's not forget there's also Blade as the coach behind this, who's seen as one of the better. That makes it even more mysterious, doesn't it? It is, exactly. You would think more for versatility, more experience. Uh, but we are still struggling to see a dominant Navi. Right. I mean, it, maybe it is just a philosophical. I mean, I'm obviously just outlining my. You can you can tell what my preference is in terms of like philosophies sure, about the game. You're here. not the only one here. I mean, go and look at Pimp on Twitter. I mean, he was ripping into them earlier as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I mean, it could be. A, I'm, maybe it's a Danish thing. Maybe yeah, it could. Well, maybe it is. <laughs> I haven't played on Liquid yet, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but you got the inside man. Still. Next time, uh, next time there's a spot open, and I see, true. I see what's, <laughs> yeah. I see what the play is here. <laughs> get get Jason a coach, and then hire me. I genius. knew you'd find a way to get a green <laughs> card. And, you know, <laughs> I knew you'd find a way somehow. It's an, uh, <laughs> tempting. I will. Um, yeah, but I mean, I. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to speak with too much confidence because I. I obviously actually don't know what Blade's thinking is about that. I would love to. I, maybe I should mess him on Twitter. Blade's great. I. But I really want to know what is the approach. Like, what is the thinking in this very passive CT side? Because maybe there's just something that I haven't thought about. Like, there's a logic to it that I just don't understand. Mm. Perfectly possible. Um, Blade is obviously much better at that than I am. Um, but I just. I still. I would love to. I'd love to find out so that. Uh, so that uh, at least I would. Uh, you know, make some sense of it here. Yeah, so, I mean, once we get into the game and it's happening real, so we do have Simple back on, so, you know, a couple of restarts, and then we should be right and uh, and good to go. I think this is going to be an interesting game. I don't think it's going to be as one-sided as on Dust 2, at least I certainly hope not. But um, but we're going to find out. Definitely will. Remember to go and join the fan cams if you did not do it already. Follow um, Blast on the social. Yeah. And tune with that and the, the fan cams. Yeah, you get some pretty cool updates on the Twitter account. If you guys ha don't follow it already, you should because there's some there's some fun, you know, like mic'd up moments that get posted on there and some some good like little clip updates after the game. So if there's something that we've missed, sometimes they show up there. So it's worth it. Uh, here we go. Navi on the CT side and OG on the T side. And um, I'm expecting to see at least AP250 being picked up at one point here. Could be all Glocks, but I just like AP250. 
There we go. I like see. Drops me over there. Easy. All right. Yeah, he doesn't go the Hampus route. Hampus buys a P250 for himself. Uh, and it's like, okay, P250 nades, but, um, you know, Alexi B, he's gonna, he's a team, he's that in-game leader, he's just gonna hand it over. And, well, here we go. Straight out onto A, no fear, only dreams, Anders. Get in there fast. OG, not willing to let Navi recover after Dust 2. He jumped out, that's pretty bold. Being airborne like that could definitely get you killed. And they're gonna keep going in the jungle. I love this. Now, they can see that eventually they have to stop, right? But I love the idea that they keep pushing. Because it does throw the CTs a little bit off guard. Electronic and Boomich, though. Some strong kills. And he'd love to find more, but he actually can't right now. There's no one in the bomb site. What a nice jump through. That takes some practice and skill, ladies and gentlemen. Valder absolutely caught off guard. Now they smoke the bomb and are defusing inside with a kit. Boomich is on it. Another millisecond and he'll have it. And they cannot find him in time. It's Navi to win the round. Oh, <laughs> and he's killing them even afterwards. That is that's a really action-packed pistol round. Non-stop. So sick. Straight up aggression from OG. They had the plan. They knew exactly what they wanted to execute. It didn't break their way, but they got the bomb plan. So you know what that means? They have money for buy. They have money for rifles. I mean, it's almost as if they won the round. OG, look at this buy round that they get because yeah. of all these kills and because of that bomb plan. Yeah, they definitely have a better buy than, than Navi do, except for the grenades, but I think they will take it anyway. Isa taking down Simple, another fight to come in. Electronic, Ooh, that's a beautiful double, and make it a triple, why not? Taking down Valde on top. They, I don't think they were, I wasn't expecting that. What? That was the biggest flash ever thrown. Like the highest value, $200. <laughs> that's unreal. They bought plenty of... What, magnesium dust? Yeah, it's just, it just a flare going off. And boom, edge up close to the MP9. Unreal. So that's going to be exceedingly frustrating for OG. Because what are you doing now? You are going to be... Well, you just got slapped really, really hard. The pistol didn't break your way, but you can shake that off like, oh, you know, whatever. Uh, it just doesn't, doesn't go that way sometimes. Uh, but electronic, just calmly taking three of you down top mid when you have rifles and... Like, that's not supposed to happen. So, a little bit frustrating here for OG, I think. Yeah, he was very exposed. If, if not, if he didn't handle that himself, they would, he would just been, have been dead pretty quickly, so... It's sick play from Electronic. You can't take away any, anything away from him. He, you get that many targets, sometimes you're just going to rush it, you start spraying, you start making mistakes. Yeah. Uh, not Electronic, not in this case. Takes his time, cool, collected. Big reason why Navi are now in the lead 2-0 at the beginning of Mirage. Careful with the Feagles here, Boomich. Teammates are only now showing up. Up on the stairs. A bit of a sneaky kill for him. Simple. He'll get a double and Boomich swinging for a double spray of his own. So nicely handled round. No real problems. They cleaned it all up. 3-0 in favor of Navi. OG back with a buy here in the fourth round, though. So not going to be that much rest for Navi, really. Uh, they they didn't maximize their money here, Navi. Do as good a job as possible. Simple and on the orb. Yeah, we're going to get that off and play. CT side. I mean, dude's just been hitting shots all day, so why yes. not? And one of the cool things that he was doing earlier against Nip on this map was um, being very mobile. He was all over the place. It was very hard to guess where he was going to be at. He'd be playing you know, forward in B hallways, and then he would be middle, and obviously at the ticket booth and all the rest of it. So just making it hard to guess where the orb is is just always going to be an advantage. Indeed. That is it. And then when you get in your mind, in your opponent's mind as well. Because right now, look at the simple watching underpass. He's ready. And you're dead. It's so insanely frustrating. Just instant death for Isa. Mavaldo's going to take down Electronic. That is well played. And he's not going to offer himself up. Too simple. At least not immediately. Does manage to get out of dodge. Is simple going to be able to react in time? Or Valdo's just going to wait for them to be patient and push in? It's not an easy flick, actually. Valdo swings into that. Could be a bit awkward. It's a nice, uh, nice return from Valor. Really important, evening things out. Making a lot of noise as they're getting in here. I'm not sure about that. That's definitely being heard by Flamey, who's right next to them. So, yeah, that's why you see the grenades coming out. I don't think that was necessary. I mean, it's still early enough on that they can wait them out, but still, don't want to give too much away, do you? Oh, that's an important spray. Wonder if it'll draw someone back. It looks like Simple is being sort of pulled that way, and they actually need him at the B bomb site. So that one kill could really loosen this B defense. And now, even the... Second guy's rotating back. Oh, wow. This is way, way effective. This is so big. Yeah. Wait, now. 
You see, I mean, the thing as simple as communicating, he hasn't seen anybody. They're also going back. This has gone from being effective to potentially really Final. dangerous. Bomb is way far behind. Oh, but like, 15 seconds. They, they still got it. I thought maybe Simple would still be holding CT spawn, but he went back himself, probably doubting the, the timing of it all. I think everyone was confused about this. Manta going down means Navi still definitely want to feel like uh, they can at least try for a retake here. See if they get the first kill and, and roll something behind it. Alexi, though, will take down Flamey Perfecto with a good kill on MBK. So the retake is still on, but nobody knows about Valda. And they say, oh, he almost pre-fired it. Perfecto so quick. They don't have a grenade or anything, but that all could be holding it. And the bomb is on the other side of the boxes. So best of luck here for Alexi B. He's going to get taken down. And Navi... Let's do a wonderful retake. That actually worked so much better than I was expecting. Mm -hmm. No nades to buy any time with. Just a really frustrating... Uh, and because they took so long, they were so short in it, Montu just gets picked off for free at the beginning of that. Yeah. Right? And so you lose that advantage that you have there, OG, with the man. Really this, surprised. This is Perfecto coming right over the top. Yeah, spots the gun barrel. Well done. Well done. I... This is, a, this is looking like a revitalized Na'Vi. Right now, they are looking very solid indeed. OG are going to have their work cut out for them. It'll be hard for OG to go back and watch that that fourth round on the demo, because we could just see that, you know, that B defense was, there's just one person there. And I guess rotating back to A maybe wasn't the whole thing that cost them, but it did look like they had, they had an easier target, perhaps. We will never know. AK stolen on Perfecto. Money is not that great for Navi, but they do have some. It's worse on OG. Creeping towards the bomb site. If Valdi keeps this up, he's going to get shut down by Flamey. Do the check for the boost. Jump across, gives it away. But this is just a bait and switch. Flamey might still get caught, and he is, in fact, going to get caught for free. Gets that smoke off, but that split second makes the difference. Two man advantage for OG, and this is definitely a safe scenario now for Navi. Yeah. That's. That's not really a setup I could get behind. Flamey there with the M4. He sees one guy jumping past, and he's he sort of still committed to try and fighting them. But Perfecto is there with him. is all the way behind the truck. Like, think about how late in the round they know that someone is there. Mm. I don't know. I feel like one of the things you definitely want to know at the people on site is whether or not people are all the way in that hallway, either by jumping as people do or... You know, just staying up there the whole time and then looking down if you have a sniper rifle or something that can, that can work out. Interesting stuff, but nicely done by OG. They just swept that round. And now we get to save the rest. So 4-1 to one in favor of Navi. Sixth round here. NPK's finally picked up a kill. He was at zero for a little bit here, but picking something up. Always, always a good sign. That really wasn't a very elaborate strategy either for OG, but it, again, it it did just work. Now, leaning much more heavily towards the 8-bomb site. Let's see if they try for one of those attack and wait type strategies. Because again, they're setting this up so early. That's so dangerous. He's dead already. Oh. Smoke goes down just nick of time. He's just still hanging out around here, though. And there it is, the jump up onto the infamous bench. Flamey just barely makes it around the corner in time. Alexi B is going to get his head taken off, and that removes a part of the pincer onto this bomb site. Yeah, they're just going to get mauled here, aren't they, OG? Unless some magic happens. Velda trying to make it happen. Trying to turn it around, and Matu fighting back as well. The two of them remain. Can they get that bomb planted, though, is a different story. He would so love if his teammate could find a way to get the bomb planted, but yeah, that being, he has to cross past Simple again. And he's just patiently waiting out there. How long does he want to do this? Oh, he hears that. Oh, he probably did hear a step. Yep, but Simple gets far enough back around the corner. It's really patient here from Valdi. You've got to appreciate that. He's going to try and see if he can hunt him down, checking everything that he can. Oh, he almost got scoped then and almost getting shot at the back, but not quite. And there's the kill. That is going to make it a two on two. And they've still got 30 seconds. The bomb is here as well. That is, it's a high level counter strike coming out from Valder at the moment. That's so sick. And now, I mean, dude, the stomach, your stomach just drops out if you're Navi at that point. Just like, great. It was looking so good. And now we have to go into a retake. We don't know where they are. Matu's baiting for Valda. Oh, that HE. 
Yeah, he's got no way of knowing. He is gone, and that is just Flamey turning around and running the other way. He's so patient, Valdo. Yeah, that was really sick. Valdo had a bit of a, a real cold start on Dust, too. Yeah. You can see he was kind of forcing it, trying to make it happen. But he's hit the ground running here on Mirage, and he is coming into his own by the looks of things. Another Dane. Yeah, another one out there. Another beast. They're, uh, they're, they're being sent all over the place, right? Got Blameth hanging out of complexity. Got Valdo in this international lineup. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was... Uh, it really was. A... Got Config as well. Not to, not to forget. It's true, actually. Yeah, you got two Danes. One wasn't enough. Yeah, apparently not. Good old Lake, just always trying to stack the deck in his favor. I, I, I think it's it's fantastic. JKS now joining the team as well. I am looking forward. Oh, it's gonna be wild, yeah. To it, yeah. By the way, that killed that electronic on the last round on Lexi B was that was purely communication, right? His teammates called it in saying there's a guy in the middle. He's you know he's in the smoke somewhere and electronic quick to turn around. So it's nice to see that Navi communication is working out that way because if you if you delay anything like that, if you're not clear and precise and you're not listening, then you know, those that just doesn't happen. Quick bomb plant, falling back. They have all of the advantage in in doing this. So this is just great at the moment. With well, the one AK on simple is the only thing really they have to be scared about. And I don't see why simple would try and throw it away. The rest of them could try and definitely look for some kills if they feel like it. Oh, there it is. It walks right in. So no AK. Play me though. Oh no! How could that be? He gets another one in there. Quick triple headshot. He does have a kid, actually, but... Oh, no! One more! That is absurd! MBK just watching his team die in front of him. That is a miraculous round from Flamey. Oh, man. I can't believe we just saw that. That was expensive. Couldn't save the AWP either. Monster's going to have to tap into his bank to get uh, re-equipped. Let's watch all again here. Another. Another one. All three headshots, one clicks, and four taps. I, so it's not just simple. Flamey can do it too. Yeah, that really is expensive. Sick. Well, that is definitely going to uh, give Navi a whole lot more room to maneuver with here. Because uh, OG were sitting on a pretty terrifying bank, starting to really get going, and now they've had to spend a whole lot of it Thanks to the Flamey's efforts. So he really did have a big impact in that round. And, well, it is going to be Na'Vi forcing into it. Two Famasas so they can afford a few more nades. But OG still trailing with an opportunity to tie it up. Four to three. Did he just drop his gun? Am I just... Am I, am I hallucinating? Mm -hmm. we find out? Is Alexi's beast gun up there? There's a gun right there on the carpet. Hey, confused. So... Why'd he drop his pistol? It was weighing him down, Anders. He had to be fleet of foot here. Yeah, I he had to move so. in quick. Got a bit of a line up here, but yeah, it's danger on the other side. He's still gonna win. Definitely tuned in at the moment, Flamey. Don't want to be throwing this away. Two versus four. Don't give them any individual fights. It's still Flamey. He's just hitting the shot so well, and a grenade. Back to back quad kills for Flamey, and now be on five rounds. That's terrifying. Yeah, you're not pleased right now if you're OG. This is the last thing you want, because if Simple and uh, Electronic start uh, getting into this game in a meaningful way, life's going to get very difficult indeed. Flame just doing work. But that was also kind of a staggered push from OG. Just getting in one after another off the balcony. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, not really uh, not really just committing in there and trying to cascade onto that bomb site, give themselves some room to maneuver. So, tough one. It means that they have to tap into the rest of their bank. And leaves us kind of wondering what OG are going to be capable of here. It is going to be a B hit. There are currently three players here for Navi. They are ready and waiting for this yeah. one. Like they smoked all of the middle right now. So they have to go before those smokes fade or none of this is really going to matter. And trying to get through that CT smoke perfecto. Doesn't even need to see anyone. The Impactful. bullets will do it. Yeah. Just the ticket. That's interesting. Yeah, nice. He's going to get that AK. Well done, Isa. It's a big gamble when you when you they, what they did is right they smoked catwalk window and connector, but they had no one there from OG to check if there was a, I mean if if any one person from Navi you know isn't behind the smokes but it's just jumped through, they'll just immediately see this isn't a B you know push at all or there's not a mid push at all and then they could at least call that out and say well listen there's no one in the middle so 
you know, be be alert on the other side. So that I don't think that's what happened this round, but it's just you've got to put a little bit of, uh, I don't know, you've got to roll the dice if you're OG doing that. I think that's what they just did. So um, that smoke, though, was lethal to them. Electronic going down four on three. Round is still in play, even even if it was just a five on three. I mean, can't be letting this one go here if you're Navi. This is one of those rounds that you just have to win. Gonna go for bomb plant, and um, their teammate in Isa is far, far across the map. So it's gonna be down to Mantu and Valda to try and do this. He's trying to sneak it behind, but the bomb's already planted. I think he's he's so far away right now. It's almost ridiculous, but maybe it'll play out in the end. Jungle is where another one of them is, and he's just so upset. He's like, I'm angry on his behalf. Mantu goes down, and Valda now in window. isa has gotta be wondering what on earth is wrong with Simple. Why is he there? Yes, and well, before Simple realizes. <laughs> that he's here as well. Bomb's just gonna get defused. Easy peasy. And can Velda make it back for that AWP? No, not quite. Unfortunately, he is not gonna do it. So, just an AK. NBK's got enough for a glass cannon. If you wanted to really be a team player, that would be quite the sacrifice. But I'm thinking this is gonna be a half by kind of round for uh, OG. And uh, focus on the next one. Navi right now are just looking fantastic, aren't they? They, they, they've revitalized. Yeah, they're looking really good, but the score still means they've, re they've got to keep the focus too, right? At, you know, 6-3, like that's absolutely anybody's game, so... They should be feeling good, but what they really need to, to sort of cement this is the economy behind it, and that they haven't really done yet, and maybe even more of a lead, so yeah, I, I think it's good for now. Like this push to, to top mid, I've been criticizing now if you're not being aggressive. This is one of the rounds from which they are doing it, so huge thumbs up. Click that like button, whatever. Click <laughs> that like button. Subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Hit the bell for notifications. Yeah, yeah. All whatever it is. Heard that way too many times. Kumich is kind of alone in A. This is a long time to be holding middle, I've got to say. Which uh, gonna get traded. Quick plays there from NBK. Chimes in and manages to trade it for on four now as they move on to the A side. OG will be able to plant. Nice and open. Nearly denied. One HP. Plants the bomb with one HP. That could make all the difference. Especially when anything goes down to NBK for the smoke. A bit of a battle there. Man, I can't believe how close it was to Boomich getting away. Nice enough shot. And Mantu said already low on health. He's going to be dropped immediately. NBK, though, catching a little bit of fire here. Second kill of the round for him so far. He's just out battling in the middle of the bomb side. Electronic going to shoot him in the back. It's now Valder out in the open. He sprays and gets it. Oh, my God. What a double kill. He was so low. I think if, if Electronic hadn't been falling off the ledge there, he probably takes Valder down immediately. But OG picking up a fourth round. Absolutely critical round for them. Wild. Yeah. Wild stuff. And NBK, man, the natural born killer himself showing up big in that round. Yeah, that His was nice. The team were desperate. They needed a play. And he showed up with that AK and got the job done. Glad to see Nathan Schmidt once again showing up. But now, well, this is, uh, this is awkward for Navi. That was a must-win round in terms of economy. Pistols, Kevlar. Simple with a scout, just a force buy into this one, hoping to hold OG off of a tie situation. Oh man. Yeah, this is why you would uh you'd love to call back Flamey for another for another couple of one deeks, but also simple as a scout. There are there's some options, but it's pretty thin at the moment. I've got to say, well, I, you know, that round is just completely different if Boomich, you know, jumps into apartments just in time. It's like, he's just half a second too late. Yeah, well. Well, Alexi B in middle, playing it solo, while the rest of the team are setting up for, for an A hit. Boomich, not even getting a chance. Hard life for Boomich. Started strong. Oh, this Molly. <laughs> oh, has a corner to hide in. Does Velda realize this? Nope. Easy peasy. But he does manage to get one. No, that's actually Alexa. E. <laughs> Taking out the other, but Alex I mean, Electronic makes it out with uh, 6 HP. And if he saves that AK, actually, that could, that's going to give Navi a little bit of firepower for the next round. You don't think he will. You don't think he makes it out of this one? Oh, wait. 
Did you not know that it was on? I guess he didn't. He thought it was um, up on catwalk instead. That's odd. Uh, Electronic knows he's boxed in now, though. Oh, oh reloading, too. Come Christ. on, NBK. Yeah. It got a bit expensive. Probably had a mild heart attack then. Nice. Six Let's to go. five. OG coming back in. The fans are excited. Is that a Vuvuz Taylor that he's got? <laughs> he's got a Vuvuz Two of them. Huge fan. I love it. There was another one, too. It's one of my favorite things when they had uh, the World Cup <laughs> in South Africa. I think it was... <laughs> I love that. That's a brilliant idea. <laughs> the howls of the Vuvuzelas. I want to believe that they could all just, like, at the same time, hit the right frequency and <laughs> spawn a black hole and wipe out the entire Earth. I thought you, know. you were going to go for the brown note, but, yeah, that works. That <laughs> I mean, even worse. Oh, oh but, like, electronic. What a, what a way for it all to end, you know? <laughs> Everyone thought it'd be nuclear weaponry that would just... But it was... No, it was a stadium full of... 20,000 movies at the same time. Listen... Is it, was it worth it getting tinnitus for the World Cup? The Boobazilla? <laughs> that's, that's, I think that's an amazing souvenir. Like, you'll never forget that you were there, you know? <laughs> Definitely, yeah, you, you, you will be reminded every day. Every waking moment. What if your, <laughs> what, what if your tinnitus was the sound of Boobazilla? <laughs> <laughs> Hell on earth. Yeah. Hope no one is in that unenviable position. Well, oh, Boomich, that's that's a painful one. USPs just don't do that much, do they? When we, it's, even if you hit the headshot, it's still, you know, questionable if that would have even been a kill. Perfecto's got a P215 instead, but um, a lot of targets when the smoke fades or when he comes through, whichever one he chooses, it is going to be OG clearing it all up and evening out this scoreline at 6-6, six to six, and I think that is already... You know, going to be looking really good for them. He would have loved that. But it's not going to be doable. Lexi instead with a triple. And now, I think it's more about Navi getting a little bit of a grip on this game again. Reasserting some control. Yeah, it's really looking like LXCV has had enough time to download them. Yeah, I agree. He's uh, he's starting to figure this out. And yeah. this is going to be an awkward situation for Navi again. There's look, there are not that many nades to work with. It's a bit of a... You know, it's around 4,000 across the board. Simple has to go for just a Deagle Kevlar kit. He's also not like, got that many kills, Simple. No, he has quieted down a little bit here. I think it's five at the moment. So I, mean, I think it's Flamey who really had those two hero rounds. Yeah. Speak of, Speak the, of the devil. Speak of the devil, yeah. But past that, I don't really know. It doesn't seem... Because those, uh, those two rounds, I think, they're almost worth four. They were huge in impact and really set OG back. But regardless, yeah. clever play with the smoke, a little bit of a gap there, and uh, Alexi B gets picked off, so a man advantage for Navi in this important round. Simple, no longer just a deagle. He's got an AK in hand, and he is going aggressive. He's going to get so much information here. NBK has no way of knowing. This is... Wow, NBK checks! Like... <laughs> Simple cannot know this, but everything there just suggests that they, if he actually stayed at the off angle instead of in the corner, he just would have had that kill, no problem. But fair play to NBK. That is experience shining through and very, very important. I thought I'd say it's such a good move for Simple as well. And here he goes again, taking down Flavy. Fantastic round. Vectors are caught sleeping a bit and a third kill for NBK. And he's taking over this game right now on the T side. Nearly getting the spray down against Boomich, but he can relax and just wait for the bomb to go down. They're already covering the marketplace over by B, so doesn't have to do anything. And nice little swing. I still don't think Boomich could do this, and I actually partly wonder if it's even worth it. Yeah, now it's definitely better. It's just such a stretch to try and run into the B-bomb side alone and, and check everything. Still hanging around. I don't know about this. Not gonna happen. I had the angle, couldn't get the trigger. Returned that op. That's a very kind of him. Very considerate. He did. He's a good, uh, he's a good guy, Boomich. Good thing that weapons aren't soulbound in Counter Strike. You're from World of Warcraft. Yeah. That would, yeah, that that would be messed up. At least it's just um, a stat track, right? Maybe maybe you could like you know you could pay fifty percent more for a gun and then it was soulbound, so then the other team can't pick it up. Uh, <laughs> but then it costs more. 
I'm not advocating this Valve. Stop listening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Valve watching a pro match of CS. Come on, dude. I know. <laughs> you give them a lot of grief, don't we? Ah, uh, yeah. It's tradition. We Every to... now and again, they deserve it. Yeah. But I also just feel like it's, it's just what we do now. They shouldn't take it personally, you know. Look at who's sneaking out. Boomich. Again, Navi with... I mean, it's, it's, it's such a shame that it's with a CC. And, and like, they, it's not a round where they have more. But I like these rounds. I don't understand why Navi don't do them more. When they actually have rifles. He's going to get, essentially, a free kill here on Valda. And... How much do... Well, OG aren't even... This is... this. If they were in, you know, closer to a bomb site, I'm sure they would have loved to have reacted fairly quickly. But they were kind of stretched out. Still looks like they're going to go catwalk into B, and there's three people waiting. This could get interesting. Yeah, there's Issa. Taking up the one. Perfecto up close to the CZ-75. And there it is. Simple showing up. A round that, uh, well, is not done yet. They have taken a lot of damage. Perfecto, the one, the healthiest one here for uh, Navi. But Montu's got that bomb. Wow. Wow. What? Didn't even need to see anything. So, it's pretty right. impressive. I'm just trying to think of that Draper meme. You know, when it comes to the, the, the Valve devs. Hold on. We'll find I've this. missed this meme. Are you, you're gonna look it up. Yeah, I appreciate that. Seven to seven, fifteenth round. It's all tied up once again. Hobby uh, fans yeah. are still with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's the uh, the guy in the elevator, you know, where he's like, "I feel bad for you," and Don Draper's like, "I don't think about you at all." <laughs> <laughs> to me, that's kind of the CS devs, you know. It's like, where's like, oh, oh, oh yeah, CS devs, oh my god. And CS devs are over there just printing money, like, I don't think about you at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Boomage, that's a nice lineup. Big double. He's been trying to play that for a while, and this time it definitely worked out. Four versus three, simple. Not a smoke, but he still doesn't need to see anything. Could still take down Valda on pure timing. Man two on the leg CP, two on four, and that's simple, just hunting for him. He looks so careless, like, not even scared at all. Eight to seven in the first half here at Mirage. Definitely an interesting beginning to the second map. We'll go to a break, and then we'll be back with the second one. Stay tuned. <laughs> a lot or no? A little bit, a little bit, but a little more than a little bit. Uh, do these, right? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do these. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Uh, Mac? Mac 10? I think Mac 10. You tried to do a trick question. Uh, oh, yeah. No. Aug again? Oh, because of Ellie, yeah. Three, two, one, go. Two, one, go. I have no gun. I see the four enemies. Okay, I, I have no gun here. Do you have screens or in the door? Or I have door, but I can't, op I can't open it and there's an AK yes. locked. I found tactical awareness grenade. How to use it? You know? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, my room is locked. There's just an AK in the wall, and it's locked. Oh, I think you should like take a K and then throw this nade, and you will bunk them. Can you come to my side or no? Oh, no. I have it now. I have AK now. Okay. Maybe if you do the thing again, I can shoot them through the yes, wall. Yes, yes. I, I will throw one more. Yeah, there is two more. Okay, there we here. I can't see him. That I don't well. have more. Okay. Is this a glitch let's or try what? Different doors, maybe? Yeah, yeah, let's try, let's try. <laughs> what, what did you have to do? I only uh, see one, like. I only, had, I only had one. 
Okay, to the right a little bit. A little, a little bit, a lot. <laughs> a lot or no? A little bit, a little bit, but a little more than a little bit. Okay, a little more to the right. Okay, you hit him. You have to aim a little higher, maybe. <laughs> Seven bullets. Okay, you're hitting him, so that's fine. Yeah. Higher? Yeah, there you go. Okay, let's go. Oh. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Alright then, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Navi and OG, it's the second map, it's the second half coming up and it's a fairly even match right now. 8-7 down the middle, Navi slight lead, I don't think that's really going to make any difference. I still think OG have got a very, very good shot at finishing this 2-0 at the moment. Mm, what have they got? P250 picked up, well, on simple, ready to try and melt some people. It was on this map that he annihilated. Yeah. In the pistol. Oh, wow, look at this from OG. Straight through underpass, hoping for a B play. It's not going to be the case. It's out on A already. Isa, that would have been beautiful. He could have had a headshot to kick things off. And he spotted jungle as well. XCB trying to back off, trying to play it safe. He barely survives. Seven health, and the bomb is already planted. That's really lightning fast, isn't it? And it's out towards the middle of the map as well. So, so everyone here in, in jungle could do a lot. Perfecto hitting some crisp headshots. Electronic finally going down. But OG is definitely at a disadvantage so far in the pistol round. Flame with a bit of a drive-by, and Simple will get his say as well with the P250. Well, the only one he's going to get, but Alexi with 7 health and a kit, I just, there's really no point in even trying, is there? I mean, you, you're never going to be able to defuse for that long. Um, they're watching it from so many different angles, so... Yeah, that's right there. Yeah, but even then, I mean, he was being flanked as well. Flame yeah. coming in there, it's, uh, it's too much. I don't know. Saving the kit maybe also a little bit of a stretch. Regardless, nice round out of Navi. Gotta appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Wait, no, that was yesterday. Sorry. Bring me today. Oh, still pretty much the exact same. Uh, pick bam. A little bit of a repeat. Yeah. Nuke is third. So we'll see if we make it that far today. It's looking good for Navi. They are fired up right now. Both pistols, if I'm not mistaken, go in the way of Navi, yes. That certainly helps things. If they lose it now, then that is a real reason for Navi to get uh, somewhat miffed with themselves. Single flashbang in the middle. All of OG are in the middle, too. They were really, really hoping for an engagement there. Gotta be using it in the bomb site anyway. Flash through, and I think they're gonna get slaughtered coming through this. An MP5 in action. Yeah, fine. I still like the fact that OG wanted to try that. Much prefer that than the weird, you know, default spread out with USPs and nothing else. So, credit to them, and credit to Navi if you're not losing anyone, and getting up to 10 7. And OG will be able to buy in this one. So, not the most perfect buy, but probably good enough to do some damage, especially because. Now we have held onto the MP7, the Mac 10, the MP5. Yeah, this could be a, a real good fight out of OG here in the 18th round. Mm -hmm. Curious to see. We're going to have that short smoke go down fairly early here by the looks of things. As well as a window smoke. Alexi B manages to make the jump across. He's there with the AUG as well. Really hoping for some aggression, but that's just not going to happen. Navi throwing those smokes and just leaving it open. Leaving mid up. Unoccupied. He's gonna have so much information behind that. He will already call it back saying, Yeah, there's no one here. Now, Boomich has got into that smoke. I need to know how that happens. He has to jump and he's gonna get caught anyway, but how did he get there? How did he get there? Yeah. Like, you would have to run up to Tetris, jump over while, while what? Valda was snuck in behind the boxes and never even heard of him? I, I, I'm very confused. What just happened to Simple? Got got killed by MBK somewhere. No, up in the hallways it seems, up B hallways. So, guess just a re just a regular fight off the camera somewhere. That happens. Forty five seconds. Navi waiting for a mistake. They love OG to come look and maybe a chance here. Alexi B. Molotov's behind him and not touching him at any point. Blame me. Disappointed, for sure. But again, 
Why give them anything? Oh no, head armor surely there on XCB. He went down quick to the MP7. 25 seconds though. I don't, I mean, what do you do? He, yeah, you could run for the B-bomb site, but one, one single bit of, uh, of a hiccup here and you're not even gonna have that much time to try and put the bomb down. Not one yet. Oh my god, it's electronic with two kills on the Orca. They just, they just run in like it's nothing. That should never happen. That's so confusing. Might be shaking my head a little bit there with how that panned out. I mean, well played by Electronic. Just keeping an eye on him as well. It's almost like, it's almost like OG because the time was so low that they just thought, well, probably Navi just saving then, and then like, oh, the way they're not saving. Yeah, the focus. Like, What's going on here? That was very confusing. And now Navi, you're gonna get 11 rounds. They get a second crack at it. This is so fortunate for Na'Vi. Had they lost this... Well, now let's see. Do they even... Are they trying to get out of here? It looks like they do. Electronic's gonna get one. I mean, Issa gets both. He can recover that AUG. Doesn't seem like he's going to. Decides to back off and save instead. It's fine. I mean, he's getting a little bit of revenge for after losing the round. But that should... That should be an OG round every single day. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It feels like the beginning. Electronic. Oh, that was a filthy shot. But even Alexi, you know, peeking that with no head armor into the MP7 in the middle, it starts there, essentially. Because they were playing real far behind. Well, this, I mean, at least because they saved those gem fours, they've got a reasonable buy. Navi had filthy money. So uh, they are going to be bought up. And BK. Looks like Perfecto was able to pick up on the fact that, uh, yeah, there was a big rush into underpass. And in the meantime, Simple drops Isa on the A site. Navi, they are having an impeccable T side right now on Mirage. Yeah, and he, I think they're happy, fine, if you want to push that way, we're just going to take over the A bomb site. And, you know, as long as we do it in a reasonable time, you, you can't really get back here. So I think it's all working out. Boom, which is going to be smoking off the connector for his team to start to make his, their way into the site and actually put the bomb down. And they're falling back. I think OG know there is absolutely no point in throwing these rifles away. And I agree. That's going to be 12 rounds for Navi. I, I understand. I actually like the aggression out of MBK. I don't understand the part where he runs all the way up the stairs, like you know, fully like the whole way, because that's so audible, right? Mm -hmm. Smoking it off was kind of a fun twist. I mean, that you know, that's if they didn't know, then they definitely know you're there now. And I guess, I guess they were just trying to apply some pressure in some form or other. They're going to be saving their guns regardless. So. Five round gap opening up here between OG and Navi. And OG seems to have calmed down a little bit now. They're cooling they off. Yeah. They also don't have all the weapons they want, that is for sure, but um Well this round, oh. I mean it should be alright, because now Mountu could for example can drop a rifle right on over. Let's be can drop as well. So they should have a pretty strong buy, but right now it's about OG. I think yeah, this is a good time to call a timeout. You need to sit and maybe have a moment to breathe. Yeah, start to get this uh, a little bit more warmed up. Next, yeah, this has just been going against you through and through. Well, this has been doing a good job. And I mean, it's not like they're really, it's not like they're not showing up on the scoreboard at all. But well, it's a series of bad beats, right, as well. Because I mean, like the pistol, OG go for the gamble. Underpass rush towards B, right? Yeah. And nobody's there. Navi go A. So that just sucks because that's just like a hard counter on the strat. Or at least an auto lose in a yeah. sense. Um, second round, they go for the stack mid. Nothing, right? Because Navi just dry walk out onto A. <laughs> and uh, there's just been a series of uh, unfortunate events for OG. So, yeah, I guess it is a good time to take a timeout and just be like, right, shake it off. We've had some bad beats here. But we're not done. We're not out of this. We're still fragging. Yeah, pushing to an up into B hallways. Again, I, this is everything that I, that I enjoy about OGCT side. I, I think this is what they need to do. Now, whether or not they're going to be successful is another thing, because Perfecto is so ready for this, and he'll take one down, could definitely win that fight. Going to be the M4 picked up instead by MBK, but um, yeah, that was, that was nicely read by Perfecto. And that's also good to see Na'Vi, you know, 
realizing and coming to terms with the fact that that is how OG have been playing it. Boomic again, he was sneaking in over at the, the Tetris boxes. Now he snuck all the way into B through middle. He is just so hard to predict. And you can't see the one. They walk right past each other. There's at least going to be MBK. But man, they're, they're all rotating out. Boomic is going to be calling it in saying, this is an empty bombsite, guys. So close, yeah. He's going to get the kill. He's finally saying, you know what? End it. And I think OG is saving. Saying that's Once it. again. Yeah. yeah. Who's over there? I think it's Flamey. Is he playing over? Yeah. Flamey's going to get spotted. Think about... Think about Boomich being able to do this. And it is not... I mean, these two rounds are not the only examples. I actually think this is one of the things that he does really well. And it must be so frustrating to play against. And then there are whole games, whole best of threes where you, it just disappears. Like, you know, he's never sent on those missions. He's never really trying it. And he does the same on the, t on the CT side, right? Like, it's not just when he's on the T side. He, I just think he's got such a such an unpredictable uh, game style that I think fits really well with the rest of, of Navi when they use it, and sometimes they don't. So then it obviously he's not going to be a uh, fact. seven. Ooh. Well, at least they're making it just a little bit more expensive here for Navi. He's gonna have to spend some of that, uh, some of that cash. A little bit too much. Uh, Asa has got the weirdest way of holding his mouse. You notice that? How is he holding it? Like he has half of his forearm on the desk, and then he kind of pincer grips it. Oh, the claw. Yeah. I will. Uh, I'll never figure out how people do that. But he's got no dude. That's got to kill his shoulder. He's got no support for his elbow. Huh. You know what? Once you've, once you've adapted a style, right? True. I don't know how Swag's fingers still function. Have you seen pictures of how he holds his mouse? Yeah. Yeah. He can hire someone to fix it, can't he? Buy a new hand or something. <laughs> a couple of years, that'll all be it's gonna be fine. Robot hand. I wonder how many of the players have got their arms and hands insured now. Device was doing it years ago. I bet, I bet you they've, they've done it as well. Like some of these players have definitely put some money into it. It would make sense, yeah. Sure, that happens on a bunch of different levels. Ooh, and to that, like it should have been a free kill. Boomich, he's still fragging and he's finally going to be going down. But I mean, he should have had no kills. He should have been dead immediately then. That distracted like three or four players to look to middle. Now it's a good job that Valda turns around to take down Flamey. Bantu there, low on health, but it doesn't even matter. Drops Perfecto in the middle of the site and... That's a pretty good recovery. I actually thought that was going to spiral out of control when they were all in the middle as a boomage. All right. Still playing, I guess. Two on four. They they cannot give this away, OG. Electronic is just... He is actually fighting so hard right now. Maybe Simple isn't sitting at the top of the fr of the scoreboard, but I mean, Flamey and Electronic, this has been their map. And Electronic was doing work in the last... In, on Dust 2 as well, but... Now let's see. Simple... 1v3, pinned on the site, and soon to be caught in the open. No, no we have one HP on Mantle, unfortunately. Yeah, they're just going to group up on him. I, again, if you could get out and try to sort of fight his way into a, to a better position, it would be different, but they're just everywhere at the moment. So a single missed shot. Not even going to get that off. It's Alexi to take him down instead. OG with an eighth round. Nice recovery, I thought. That that could have gone bad a couple of different ways, but Mantu finding some relevancy even after getting tagged up that badly is also nice. Well, now we've got two AKs as well as the AWP. Now OG have got that firepower. No longer do they have any excuses, Anders. This yeah. is it. Fully bought up. Fancy guns. Ghetto guns. I mean, I don't know. AKs, they're pretty... I mean, the pretty much like the rifle, aren't they? Or for a while there. Yeah, they're, they're, they're on the cheap side. I think we, we can, that's that's fair to say. I think if, I think in the real world, it costs about 600 bucks. So that's that's really not that much. That's, uh, yeah, if, if you happen to live in the States. Garen, yeah, well, I think just, I think it's like the global average or something. I checked it one time for God knows what reason. Um, it's not like you can get them in Denmark. You cannot. Um, you definitely cannot. AK wouldn't be my. I've uh, I've tried firing AK in some, some range in Atlanta. And I did. I, I did not. It is a bit bumpy, isn't it? I, yeah. Oh, not a big fan. I'll be honest. Twenty-second round, and uh, we've got an op on Mantu. Got an op on Simple as well. 
this is where the battle surely is going to be because again i mean now we still have some money but og they need to turn this around start to feel confident at CT side it's like it's like they're going through some of the motions of like this mid aggression the b hallways like they still have the same ideas but it but something isn't clicking quite yet and i'm sure like a couple of one rounds and some more money and like they'll get back into life i think og could still absolutely win this game um but yeah, they need they need to string some more rounds together here, or it's it's gonna be too late. I'm gonna be lights out, but this is the best chance that they've got. Fully bought up all the guns, including AKs. You gotta do it now. And unfortunately, I simple just doesn't miss, man. Doesn't matter if he's blind. Yeah, he wasn't it, even blind then. Yeah, he was. I mean, he was like mildly flashed or something like that, but it wasn't really enough. So nice idea. I still, I mean, flashbang at the top mid. It's definitely really cool. It's just that. There was no fo other focus of, of any kind really being taken away there, so I don't think they were uh, too worried, Navi. And so far, it's looking like a flawless round, and they're still taking their time. Yeah. Which is good, good news. Just tricky. What would you, what would you ensure, Semler, for, for your job? Can, can you ensure your voice? Is that possible? I don't know how that works. That would have to be. I'm sure opera singers do. Yeah. Vocal cords. Not to make any comparisons. I don't know. To how your singing dude, is. But. No, I mean, uh, it's getting better. I'm practicing more these days. But I mean, uh, uh, that is pretty much what those guys do, right? Like singers. Sure. Yeah, it must Commentary be. Commentary is what we do. It's kind of the same kind of thing. Uh, one of those fights, I think it was uh, GWC sat next to a lead singer and asked him for a bunch of tips on how he warms up for, for shows. Yeah. And been using those for a good long while. So, it is definitely... I, I, I did say, but I got my, my wife is really good at singing, so... So she taught me. Cool. Um, it is cool. It's, I mean, that's the, that's the thing, actually, when you come to Scandinavia as well, is that in Sweden, for example, you have songs that you sing at meals. Yeah. You know, there's actual culture. Whereas uh, like it feels like, uh, you know, a lot of other countries, you just don't really have songs like that. That's that's not a thing. It's interesting. So, we just can sing. Damn. Oh, okay. well, we'll get into it later. A lot of good Swedish bands that uh, like Swedish music. Anyway, uh, I'm sure I could not get insured. I, I, I end up in hospital every other year for random reasons. An insurance company look at that and say, you know what? This guy. <laughs> Forget about this. 23rd round 14 to 8 to the scoreline money on Navi it's a bit less than it was but it's still there it's almost 10,000 on Perfecto almost 5,000 on Simple 5,000 on Flamey that's enough to still stay dangerous for a while OG though on the other hand not so much so they have put more or less everything into this and um, that is a little bit scary. The round loss bonus is absolutely massive, but OG have only won one round in the second half. I actually forgot about that. Mm -hmm. I just memory hold that. That's a problem. That's not a good uh, sign at all. Yeah, memory, hold, memory holding things in general. Not the best. Well, it depends, doesn't it? You should use it selectively. It could be good great. Point. Get all the bad things. What is this? 30 seconds left. They're still in the middle. Navi. They have a history of messing rounds like these up in horrific fashion. And I I, I still have trauma from watching those rounds. I'm getting nervous right now. I can feel it coming. Alexi B does go down and boom, which is there as well. And suddenly it works out. And they get every single one. It looks so perfectly timed. They didn't screw it up. I was nervous for no reason. They're going to get a 15th round here. We're gonna get a 15th round, and I've got a strong feeling that we're going to nuke Anders. That is looking increasingly likely, yes. Yeah. This is definitely looking like a nuke scenario to me. A third mapper. And we will have had all six maps to finish the last day of this group, so there we go. That's what we like. We want to make sure that we find the best possible contestants, so test them on more maps. <laughs> Let's do best of seven double elimination all the way through Indeed. group stage all the way into the final. Should be able to play all seven maps, right? Yeah. Pretty sure. Just go for it. We'll do a mar marathon type session. Just keep playing. Uh, if we start at seven in the morning, I'm fine with that. Like a, like a Le Mans kind of thing where exactly. you know, we just you know we just play Counter Strike, you know, forty eight hours, how long it goes. Just keep going. Just keep going. Never stop. Never give up. Well right now same cast 
<laughs> yeah. Analyst. Sure. I mean, if we start early enough in the morning, I'm down. <laughs> well, you know, just get just just get get up. Get same breakfast. Same cost, the same analyst, same pay. Yeah. Maybe just go for a jog, you know, and uh, get some coffee, and you're good to go, right? All right. Well, we'll see if someone takes us up on that thing. Not the same pay part. <laughs> Fifty to eight right now. Oh, gee. For whatever reason, it's it's such a mystery to me what's happened here because I I again here they are in middle with a cool three man take off the middle. They're not finding any of the Navi players, but these are I think these are all the things that that you know I really enjoy. But it's not working. Navi certainly aren't taking them up on that mid fight for now. Boomage gonna go straight into it, and I don't, Navi not pouncing on that at all. I mean they weren't close enough maybe. But at least OG could start to gravitate back to the B-bomb site. We'll see MBK smoking off, ready to catch Electronic with the help of Alexi B. He comes out of the window, and now we've really been slowed down. This is looking so good for OG. A chance here to at least get up to nine. Not bad. Not bad. Hey, six rounds in a row on CT side Mirage is possible. Especially if you can keep yeah. uh, putting an impact on the money here for Na'Vi. I mean, obviously... By uh, the end of it, they'll have money to buy, but the bank is going to get used up quite a bit here on the other side after this. Round. And if you can get some confidence, if they can start uh, kind of winging it, maybe, you know, stop feeling the pressure, just get in there, have some fun, pick some heads. Ooh, canceling out the smoke with the Molotov there, creating a bit of a space in the window. That's That's a cool little move. Yeah, know. you see. Yeah, simple getting toasted there for a second. I was hoping that somebody would go for that jump. Instead, it's going to be Perfecto waiting for MBK. A delayed push to top mid? This could be fun. Yeah, surely get it flashed in, isn't he? Although, really trying to walk up right behind him there. Not quite checking it. He was looking a little bit all over the place. Simple gets one more kill, but... Does it really matter at this point in time? It's a 2 on 4 and Valde crouching in with a kill on the AK-47. Take him down at top mid. That's the bomb as well. It's going to be 10 rounds for OG, surely. It's looking pretty likely, Andrews. It's looking pretty good for them. And Navi, not a real hope of getting a bomb plan in this situation. I like that, man. Dude, Flamey is dialed in on this map right now. Yeah. 22, fl 22 frags for Flamey. I mean, he's looking better and better. 40 seconds. He gets another kill here, and that's going to be annoying for um, OG. Their money isn't terrific. Yeah, but neither is Navi. I mean, th that AK probably, yeah. But you're right. I mean, it definitely would be kind of devastating if he started losing more rifles. And he's still got 20 seconds, so sure, maybe he's going to try and see if he could just stumble into someone. You never know if you, you, know, you catch someone looking the wrong way. Don't really blame him for at least giving it a shot here, but yeah. Doesn't actually want to go into the middle. Fair play. Ten rounds, OG. Need another five in a row after this. It can absolutely be done. You heard that drop down and the, the rifle being dropped. Go. Oh, it's close. But not going to happen. Here we go. 26th round. Orb picked up or stolen in that last round. So Mantu's going to have that again. Now they aren't going to have that much to work with. They're going to have Flamey on the AK. Maybe just, maybe just stick to that. Don't see any reason for for buying up too much in this in this round of your Navi because you just need one more round. I mean, you can either get it with you know with random upgraded pistols or with the full buy later on. Yes. I'm voting for the full buy. You're voting for the full buy. Yeah, I think we're all on board with that full buy. Why fluts about? Just get it done. Yeah, that's simple. Still just waiting. He's been successful in getting tags over towards that B side of things, but it is going to be the move into underpass with that bomb. Still have electronic lurking on ramp, exactly. And with uh, five players alive, four Navi, and a few flashes, it's looking uh, likely. Not to. Going to get that pick. Putting simple right out of it. Everything is on that one AK. Some pressure on Flamey. He's been playing very well at the moment, but he's spotting it out. Flashbang. They're getting close up. There's Perfecto. 
cruising into the bomb site, taking down Iza. Flamey with a kill on Valda. Now everyone's getting nervous at the moment. Mansu's gonna get that one, but Alexi still goes down. Flamey has already found two kills with that one AK-47. And oh no, bomb plant! Boomich getting interrupted. Flamey's down next. All they needed was this cover. And now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Mantu snuck in towards jungle. I don't think... Yeah, the electronic has no idea. He's not thinking about it yet. Surely he will soon, but... If he doesn't, he could walk right into the shop. And yeah, I think now it's dawning on him that... He's actually not in that position. This is real interesting. He's still got the P250 out. Someone must have called it that Mantu's low. Definitely saw the dink. Definitely saw that helmet shot. Uh, that little spark fly. And so... He seems to know. Now, over the top. Oh. He's He's the electronic keeps his pool and locks it down for Navi. 16 10, the final score on Mirage. And that means we're going to get a third map, which is nuke. We were denied nuke yesterday, Anders. Not now. So we're going to get it today. We're going to get two nukes today. But first, we need a break. We'll be right back. Navi grab Mirage as both teams have won each other's map picks. And I think, guys, I might just start saying Flamey plays bad more regular, so he pops off once again. <laughs> I called him a Charmander. He evolved one more time, potentially two times with that kind of performance. Because one thing that's real interesting here is Simple wasn't needed to have some insane performance, right? And we've been listening into his comms, and one thing that came off the back of that, Simple was more quiet in this game. Boomich had more control. So I'm not going to go and say that it is linked, because I don't know that. But I thought that was one of the most convincing T side of Navi we've seen in that Blast event so mm, far. Sure. They were right on the money in most cases. Right call, right rhythm as well. They read 
fled through OG. You could see OG really try to be aggressive on their city side. They mm -hmm. try to make the difference. We've seen Valde push down middle. We've seen Alexi be in the underground. We've seen mm -hmm. Mantu trying to make the difference. Every time, or almost every time, Navi was ready for that, and they reacted appropriately. Yeah, definitely agree. I think that was uh, by far the best T side we've seen from Navi so far. The CT side was a bit hit or miss. They got off yeah. to a good start, won the pistol round, went up 4-0, and, and at that point it was OG taking over. There was even a couple of rounds where they didn't really capitalize as well. And I was listening into the OD communication, and we did hear a, a mic clip right that I want to play for you guys right now. Jungle con CT, Montu. Jungle con and CT. There's a gap yeah, on the jungle. Can you sneak back? Montu, can you sneak back to B? Yeah, if you can go B, it's perfect. One guy roadside it. One guy went It's okay, B. Balder will kill the B, but B guy. That B? Nice. One CT. I saw Sorry. one CT. Can you go shot? Can you go shot? Bro, stay, stay, I'm with you, I'm with you. He flashed shot. That. Okay. I flashed shot for you. I Do flashed. The swing. Let Montu play, play first. Let Montu play first. Yeah. Okay. Now, the part of that clip was to showcase you guys how good they're actually communicating in these clutches, right? They're mm. making a plan and they're making sure to be effective with the plan as well. That was a great sign to me in OG, and I was thinking to myself after the first half, all right, OG, you did go down 8-7, but you were the better playing team, right? They mm. were close of getting more rounds. There were a couple of rounds where they didn't really capitalize, but as Maniac said, when Navi switched over to the T-side, they played properly the best T-side we've seen Navi play throughout this tournament so far. So it was tough for OG. Also, one of the clips I, uh, I, I did want to pull out here, we don't have it though, but Alexi B said, I need a timeout now. I need to tell you guys something. We need to be more aggressive and we need to take more map control because Maniac okay. is spot on, right? They tried to take map control. They just weren't successful with it. It was just in the later stages of the game when Valde finds success in middle and the entire team took back control together it worked out for them and that put a bit of pressure on Navi mm. and Alexi B he said it right uh, during the, the game have we only started to do that from the beginning of the half I thought we would have won it but unfortunately it was too late and, and one thing I'll sit on right when we're talking about Navi here and, and how they're able to sometimes get away with these early great starts how many times do they just let it slip away it's like they get ahead of themselves they get overconfident with it yeah, I think that was the case on the first half, right? They, they get off to that 4-0 lead. And at this point in time, you know, Simple's popping off a little bit. You fear that it's going to be Navi just steamrolling OG, but they did come back in a great fashion. Now, there are a couple of factors you can put into that. It could be that you just give that 5% less because you feel like you're too in control. There's a bit of content that could be mm. in there as well. But I just think we should also credit OG for their ability and their resilience, their ability to fight back. I don't want to put it only on Navi. Yeah, and, and that, that's what we were saying, right, when it comes to Alexi B. You can see him trying to figure things out, and as the game was progressing, you're like, ah, oh, he, he's working it. But those gears kind of stopped a little bit there. You know what was actually, I say funny, it's probably not the right word, but I could see the frustration on Alexi B's face, and obviously we have the bird's eye view. We see what's happening on the overview, yeah. we see the movement. And I could know why he was so frustrated, because I could see these timings, I could see these little details, I could see the aggression not working out, and he was just in front of his piece like, what is happening? And I, I, I I share his pain. I share his pain. I, say, I understand what you're trying to do. I know the aggression you're trying to put together, but Navi, they have you figured out, unfortunately. There was there was one specific round I just quickly want to touch upon when you say the frustration from Alexi B, right? He called for a flash from Velde into connector. Velde threw that flash, but just 0 0.2 seconds before Details. the flash bloomed, he oh. got killed because they came out of connection. Had he gotten that flash a half a second before, yeah. he would have got three easy kills in, in connector, you know, all of them being flashed. So it was a game that was, you know, constantly tipping, uh, I would say, back and forth. But at the end of the day, Navi were the better team and they had the, you know that most of those close quarter situations going their way and, and this is what we come back to on this point where we're looking at navi is they need to be really pressured they need to have their backs against the <laughs> wall for this navi to show up yeah. but i'm going to agree with you guys here and yeah okay simple didn't have to have an amazing game but he still played well mm. but it's just this was the most team performance mm. we'd seen from them in this tournament and how do you replicate that, right, if you're Navi? Because this is the magic question. You're asking me how can we turn water into wine. If I knew it, I'd be rich, right? 